Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we left off of the last tutorial talking about recursive functions, and I was going to leave it at that. And then uh, as I was sitting here thinking about it, I kind of felt bad not giving you guys a better solution to or, an, or a better alternative to recursive um, functions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one we just wrote. Let's go ahead and just, I'm going to type it out real quick. I'm not going to explain it since I did that in the previous video. So define total n, and then we're going to say if n is equal equal to 1, then we're going to print uh, n is now 1, and then else, and then we're going to print n, and then uh, return uh, what was it? Total n minus 1. Hit return. Now, if, the reason why I want to come back and talk about this is because if we did something like this, total 1,000, all right, we would expect it to count all the way down to 1, right? Boom. There's our maximum recursion again. Well, so using recursive functions is probably not your best solution because Sometimes when you write a function, you don't know how many uh, arguments are going to be passed into it. You don't know how many times this recursive function is going to run. And obviously, if it runs more than, uh, what did I say, 997 times, I think it is, we're going to get a recursive um, error. All right, so what's our better solution? I'm going to clear my screen, and I'm going to show you a better solution. So we're going to define total, all right, and all right. And kind of looks similar. And then we're going to do n1 is equal to n. And then we're going to say while n1 uh, is greater or equal to 1, we're going to go ahead and uh, print n1. And then we're going to do um, n1 minus equals 1. And we'll come down to total 1,000. Boom, there we go. We got all the way through our numbers just like we're doing. So using a while loop or any other, you know, if statements or for loops might be better than recursion. So that's what I want to talk about. Hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos.